so I'm going to start with one that I've already performed and you're familiar with it, Daphne. Um, it's called El Grito del Mariachi. Um, El Grito del Mariachi is um, a, a, a shout of joy that um, a, a musician in Mexico um, plays uh, or says, I, I'll, I'll explain it. You, you'll, you'll figure out um, the meaning throughout the poem, but I guess this is my mini introduction. Feeling like an addict depressed. Oh, okay. Anyway. My dad likes to call me kangaroo because he is proud. He tells anyone who will listen. My daughter is Australian. He dances when he says these words, swaying his hips and hands to a soundless song that only he can hear. Then he cries out a loud and proud mariachi cry. El grito del mariachi. It is an unequivocally, unapologetic, raw, jubilant cry, deep-rooted in Mexican culture, the highest form of self-expression. A cry that symbolized a declaration of war for Mexicano independencia. I try to do el grito, yet a croak comes out instead. I will my lungs to push the air out of my soul, yet all I hear is a deafening silence, a reminder that my truth has not yet been set free. I hear the whispers. You are not Mexican enough, they said. Yet my blood has, an, has a history. Fiery ancestors, red like chili peppers, spicy and alive on my tongue, shown through the curves and rolls of my, eye, of my R's. Mi sangre está viva. My blood is alive. Está viva en mí. It lives in my veins. The colors flowing through me whispering to me stories that I have not heard. Is it true what Frida Kahlo says? Only one mountain can know the core of another mountain. I don't know my dad. Here's what I know. He's 75. He's from a city in Mexico called Monterrey. He grew up poor but happy. He dances in the shopping center, sings when there is no music. He's a poet. You are not enough, they said. Words, I realize, are sounds that can only have meaning when consent is given. And I do not give consent. I discovered what I already knew. It is not the color of my skin, but it is the colors in my soul and the rhythm in my bones, blessings from the Aztecs, Mayans, Incas, Las Mexicanas. It is my dad dancing when there is no music, my grandmother's wise and strong words, words inherited, inherited from wise and strong women. A mixture of hurt, grief, and oppression, we inherited strength, I inherited strength. Because just as I let the words of others suppress my soul, I use my words to set it free. And I ask, why should I be insincere? Why should I hide from the world in fear? So with a call that came from a deep-rooted place within, a weight was lifted, emotion liberated. I stopped caring and set free El Grito del Mariachi. That little rebel girl was angry at the world. Kicking, screaming, filled with too much emotion and anger for one so small, yet so mighty. Red faced, snot running down her chin, hyperventilation, waves upon waves of emotion, confusion as to why, why emotional regulation was like trying to climb a tidal wave. Every time she tried, the waves only pushed to where she started. The more she tried to climb those waves, the more they crushed her under their weight. It's like a bad dream. You're being chased by some faceless man. You try to scream. You're so consumed by fear and nothing comes out. It's dark. Haze, confusion, gasping for breath, salt water filling her lungs, burning. She sees a glimpse of the surface, begins to taste that sweet, fresh air. Just as soon she falls back into the devil's embrace, the waves consume her. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. 
Under those waves, things were quiet. All she had to do was escape. Escape through vampire romance novels, romantic comedies, video games, and anime. She could numb herself. Brewing storms on the surface, a form of survival, coping with the madness of childhood, the escape. And so she became an escapist, obsessed with a world in her head that wasn't real. She clawed and kicked and screamed for the world to listen, but it fell on deaf ears. I cry for that little girl, that little rebel girl. How can I reach out to her? Your tears were valid. Never your fault. Your brain just learned differently, funneled into a system for a certain type of brain. They churn people out, a box that you were never meant to fit in. You were always bright, beautiful, innovative, sensitive, and yes, smart. But you didn't see it that way, did you? Your walls were built so high that even I, me, myself, and I couldn't knock them down. And here we are in the middle, a little wiser. And all you have to do is reach out and forgive the only person that matters, you. <laughs>